On Sunday evening, many parents flocked to Inanna Primary School to overnight outside the premises to secure their place in the queue. However, out of the more than 100 people who stood in the line, the school could only admit 25, given it only has one classroom. When the MICT Ohangwena team visited the school on Tuesday, parents expressed their dissatisfaction, saying the manner in which the admission was conducted was unfair and the primary school was their only last hope as admission at another government school had already closed. <laughs> Those who secure space here are parents that have income, but us that do not have any means, we are turned down. I'm angry because we slept here to secure space for our children, and we already found the elite seated in their cars, while us who do not have cars have to be exposed to the cold. Now they are informing us that we should not worry because pre-primary is not important. If that is the case, why don't they just abolish it then? This school need to have at least two classrooms for pre-primary. Our town is growing fast and so the population. Their admission process is unfair. When there is already a pupil with the same surname, they don't want to admit the new one. That's how they work here. Inanna Primary School is one of the oldest government schools at the town, offering pre-primary up to grade 7 and accommodates about 1,000 learners. The school principal, Helena Kangalange, confirmed the shortage of classrooms for pre-primary. One of the reasons, she said, was to make enough spaces for grade 1. We have been admitting learners for pre-primary and grade 1 today for both Inanna Primary and the new school that is going to be built at the southern side of Inanna Primary. Uh, however, we, we have, of course, have finished all the parents who are looking for grade 1, be it here or at the new school. But we had a high number of parents looking for pre-primary. But pre-primary is not compulsory. So what we are trying to do is to find space for grade one learners instead of pre-primary. That is why you see there is pre-primary, one pre-primary at the Nana primary, and one pre-primary at the new school. But we have, for example here, we have three grade one and three grade one at the new school. So if we give two pre-primary at the other school, that will leave only two classes for grade one. That is where the problem is. Kangalange further advises parents not to despair.